Okay, uh, good afternoon, uh, YouTube viewers. Uh, I just want to do a quick video on uh, the GoPro mount you can do for your, uh, well, I guess pretty much any helicopter, but uh, I did it here in my, uh, my T-Rex 550 here. And um, I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube already about how to mount these things, but I found that this method that I did seems to work out the best. So basically, as you can see, all I did here was I took um, one of the GoPro bases, uh, just the flat one that has the, uh, the stock tape on the bottom, and uh, I just stuck it to the landing gear. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't stick very well with such a little service area. So what I did was I drilled some holes through the base of the, the GoPro mount, into the landing gear and the screws actually stick out just a little bit on the other side. Uh, if you want you can grind the uh, the ends of the screws off. Uh, these are just countersunk wood screws. Uh, let me see, I think I got a couple of here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I took one of these guys. Took one of these guys and I just ground the, you know, I drilled, I pre-drilled the hole through. You know, slightly smaller than what the you know, the screw shank is, the inside of the threads. And then I just ground the head off so it's not pointy on the inside. Uh, then I took a bigger drill bit and I kept drilling the hole just a little bit bigger, not all the way through, just, just enough so the screws sit sit flush in the plastic so you can slide your GoPro on. Uh, this one here sticks out just a little bit so it's a little tight sticking it on, but other than that it, uh, it fits, which it's kind of good that it's tight because if you, you know, the little fingers don't grab in properly or something. It's not a whole lot of chance of it just kind of shimmying its way out. And then uh, basically you take your GoPro, and right here, I got this fancy, uh, this arm and lever contraption going on here. And uh, basically you just take it, I'll try and do this without uh, getting in the way here, and just slide your GoPro in there and that's it. And then there's what it looks like on the helicopter. Now with the GoPro mounted on the front of the skid like that, on the front skid, it uh, it makes the helicopter a little bit more nose heavy. Uh, these helicopters are already pretty tail heavy, so adding a little bit to the front, you know, makes it a lot better, especially if you're running a, like a lighter battery. Like I use a, a 5,000 milliamp hour 6S battery and it's pretty heavy, so it, it gets really close to uh, proper CEG with such a big battery. But if, you know, you're running the 4400s or smaller or whatever, then uh, it's good to have it up in the front. The, uh, the side to side, like the, the lateral CG is actually not that bad. It sits pretty close to level because the, the camera's so close into the to the center of the helicopter it uh, doesn't affect it that much. Now with this setup you see the canopy in the video from about here forward. You just see a little bit of the canopy and then you can see the the blades like just the tip of the blade going by so if you guys are into uh, you know hardcore you don't want to see any, any part of the helicopter you just want strict video then um, you know you're gonna get a little bit of the helicopter here so with this method you can also add a couple more adapters I think I have a couple here somewhere where you can bring the camera further out if uh, it's strictly video and you don't want any sign of the helicopter in the video whatsoever uh, but like I said the only thing that shows up is about here in the canopy forward and then a little bit of the rotor blades going by and then that's it but it, it you don't have to bring it out very far from here to um, you know to get rid of the the helicopter in, in the frame and then the blades in the frame. Uh, I'm posting a video up here pretty soon of the first flight of this on there and it, it works really good. There's hardly any vibration. The skids uh, the skids seem to uh, to get rid of the vibration. Once you're off the ground anyways, when you're on the ground of course it's you know it's shaking on the ground so it, it shakes the camera a bit. But once you're off the ground you know because of the, the arm here on the skid it helps support you know take out a lot of the vibrations because you have it out on an arm here. And uh, I guess the only other real issue is the fact that you drilled holes in your skids, you know, if you come in for a crash landing or something, you maybe run the risk of breaking it before the rest of them, but, you know, landing, landing support skids aren't, aren't that expensive, so, you know, it's a small price to pay. And if you want to do 3D or whatever, you just pop your camera out, or you want to do some hardcore flying, it's just as simple as that, and you go fly. There's no horsing around with anything, this doesn't change the weight of the helicopter worth, worth anything to be worried about, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, my setup that I got, and uh, it works. I'm actually really happy with it. I wanted something that was really easy to uh, to mount it when I want to do video, and then something that was really easy to take off also. 
I want to go fly like a crazy man. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys and girls, and uh, I'll throw some more videos up.